Hi you guys, it's Stephanie with Coffee Paper Scissors. I am going to be doing part two of the journal cover. I, after I got off, you know, or finished with the video yesterday, I went ahead and sewed in the signatures. And I, I did this um, ruffled up. I was trying not to make it look feminine. I don't know, it still kind of does, but I was trying not to. Uh, but I ruffled up this muslin and then I lightly hot glued it down so that there wasn't a whole bunch of hot glue in the way. And then I stitched my signatures in over the top of it to hold it in since it's only just got a little bit of hot glue on it. Anyway, so that's what I did to cover, um, sorry, I'm not quite in, huh? Uh, cover the spine. And then, uh, you know, just sewed everything in. And I don't wanna do a flip through. Hopefully I got them right side up. I've done that before, you know, get a signature sewn in and it's the wrong way. Okay, so I am going to add some things to the front now. So what I'm going to start with is I'm going to add a pocket. I used to, um, before I started making videos, I always used to put pockets on the front of my journals and then for some reason I quit doing it. So I'm going to do a pocket and I'm a little bit... Um, you have to be careful, you know, this is shiny. And so it adhering is um, a challenge. So since I have two journals, I have one that I've already kind of done. And so I can move this aside once I've glued it and work on the other one, which is dry. So that'll be good. I'll just show you what I've done. I'm leaving space so that I can fold it over for kind of a, what is it, a gusset? Is that what it's called? And for the bottom part here, I'm just going to cut it. And then for this part, I'm going to tear it. and. It's, you know, makes me a little bit nervous since I've already glued it down. If I tear it too close, it kind of is going to look funny. And if I tear it too far away, it's kind of going to look funny. So you just have to take your time. Try and follow your tear marks. It gets hard when your fingers don't reach, though. <laughs> Okay, wait, that I don't want to do. Let's see. I want to give this side a gusset also. A little bit. It doesn't have to be. Well, that's okay. I can go ahead and tear right there. I'm not real concerned. I mean, it just needs to be a little bit. There's not much of the tag that's going to, you know, hit this side. I just want to give it a little bit of room and I'm not worried about the bottom either. I just want to do the sides. I'm going to use my um, my this thing. I always call it my this thing because I can never remember what it's called. Scoreboard.
just fold that over. Okay, and then I'm going to give it just a little angle. It'll help whatever goes in to slide in um, more easily. And then we're going to ink. black okay I'm gonna go ahead and glue this down and what I've decided to use as the glue is my glossy accents I looked and looked yesterday for my E6000 and I can't find it. I have no idea what I did with it. None at all. No idea. Okay, so it's going to sit in there like that. So and the glossy accents holds really well if you if you have, you know, one and not the other or something. Or if you can't find one and you can find the other. It doesn't dry real fast though, and that is kind of a stinker. Okay. So we'll go ahead and get this stuck down. I think I had paper towel, but I don't know where it is. I've been using my, this really, really used. It's one I've been sitting stuff on after I've used it, so it's not on my desk, but it's going to work. Okay, so what I want to do is to help it dry, I'm adding the bulldog clips at the bottom, and I'm trying to get it high enough up so that my clip isn't sitting on any glue because it'll tear. But it's just got to kind of hold it down. And for some reason, even yesterday when I was doing the other one, this side was fine. It wasn't trying to pop up. It was just this and this. So you just want to go far enough in that you're not creating a situation for yourself when you go to take it off. Let's see. Well, maybe I'll just use this one big one here. Okay. Okay. And then also, I was taking this and making sure that there was no glue seeping and, and like making my pocket, you know, smaller than it I wanted. So, but this is good. But it's getting hooked or caught on the little edge that I made. Okay. I'm going to leave that in there for just a minute. Okay, the next thing we're going to do, we're gonna use this again, but I don't want it to dry out before then. Well, we're gonna use it in just a minute, but okay, hopefully, hopefully I can get this. Okay, I have a piece of cardboard, you know, that I peeled, I peeled the, the, the topping off of it. I put a little bit of white paint on it. It's just a food one. And 
and I am going to layer some things up on it. I found um, some house numbers um, at a, you know, like vintage shop, making sure that I'm in camera. So I was going to put that on and then I'm so this layering thing is something that I love seeing layering, right? But it's something that I struggle so much with. And so I sat here yesterday forever trying different things to kind of put with it. And um, this is what I have come up with. I'm just going to put under it some, you know, just some stuff. I'm just going to stick it under there. I just want to make sure that it is where I want it to be. I'm kind of looking at the one that I have dry already because I fussed with it a lot so it'll be you know easier to not have to fuss with it with you guys okay for this I have my hot glue and I'm just going to put some hot glue back there and stick it down a little like that so it's not perfect or anything but Okay, so that's down. And then the next thing that I want to do is I'm going to attach this with a couple things. I'm going to put glossy accents on the back of this too, but I'm also going to use the little brads. If you can see, there's little holes here and here. And so, but the brads aren't real long. And the only brads that I have that'll fit through that hole, you know, this is how long the things are. And so it's got to go through the two and also the cardboard. So I'm going to glue it. And I was going to use the E6000 for this, but like I said, I cannot find it. But the glossy accents will work as well. So we're just going to put it on. I try to push up and push down, you know, to get like the glossy accents out of the nozzle, but it very rarely keeps it clean enough to not get gooped up again. Okay, I have to keep standing up and sitting down. I'm trying to make it kind of not, I don't know. I'm trying to make it look like I didn't spend a lot of time, <laughs> but of course, I am spending a lot of time. Okay. And I've got, you know, the glue probably where I shouldn't have, but like on the just this part of the two. Yeah. I'm going to wipe that off real quick. And then while I'm holding it, I'm just going to poke this through the cardboard. Hopefully it goes without. Yeah, so it's through and see, it's not a very, it's very small amount of um, the little legs that get through there. Boy, they sure are pointy. Okay. And then just make sure we have it kind of straight. I think that's close enough. And then we'll do the next one. And try and get it in there straight. Yesterday I actually bent one as I was trying to put it in. And I might have just done that again. Nope, I got it. Okay, and then again, I'm going to just poke it down with the back of these things. Okay, so 
it's being held on with the glue and also the little threads. Okay, before that dries, I wanna poke this thing kind of underneath just for a little extra something. And I'm using hot glue. Hopefully I get it under there okay without being too messy with it. Yeah, we'll see. I wanted it kind of under the two as well, but I don't think I managed it. It's stuck already. That's okay. It was just to get like a little bit more of something back there. And now it's there. So good enough. All right, and so then I want to layer it on top. But before I put it on top, I have a couple other pieces to kind of go underneath just for a little bit more contrast. So, okay, I'm gonna glue that down. and it's just to have like just a little bit something else sticking out I really had wished that the numbers were showing more but um, the numbers are too far in but it's okay it's just something else kind of poking out the back and once I get it where I kind of feel like I want it then I take and mark it so that I can get it back in the same spot. gluing this down and I used again I used the since this is it's kind of shiny I was worried about the glue sticking and so I used glossy accents for this as well so what I did was let me look here get this out of the way for a second so I can make sure it's where I want it to be Okay, so I mean, I think that looks good. So I put my fingers in to see, kind of get the feel of where the this paper is in, in line with this. And so I'm not going to put any glue. I'm just gonna give myself like almost like three quarters of an inch or so where I'm not gonna put glue so that it's not seeping out and hitting where I don't want it to hit. How about an inch? We'll do an inch. Because this will hold it for sure. I just don't want everything to be in the way. It's a lot of glue, but it'll do the job. And then I'm going to put my fingers back here again so I can kind of feel. See how it wiggles like it's really wet glue and I've got this back here just in case and yesterday this is from the glue from yesterday so it's a good thing I put that back there just to save the chance that I was going to goof it up okay so there's that 
I'm just going to kind of peek back there and make sure that it's grabbing hold. It is. I can see where I got a little, a little bit of glue started seeping out. So it's a good thing this thing is here. But it has hold of the paper underneath. So this should be good. Okay, so I'm going to set this aside to let it dry. So then this one is the one I was working on yesterday. I made a tag to go down in the pocket. I just took a dictionary page and I backed it onto some kind of a cream colored cardstock and stitched around it, added one of those large grommets. And this is one of the labels that I, I made in a video, I don't know, maybe last week. So that fits down in there. And now I'm gonna add the last little bits and I'm really nervous about this. <laughs> So I wanted to add something along here and I'm, oh gosh, you know, I'm just going to do it. I'm just going to do it and get some of these things out of the way. I looked around in my trims and everything like that and I'm, I was having an awfully hard time because you know ruffled up anything looks I don't know kind of feminine and so I was really trying to avoid that so I thought this is pretty thin and instead of ruffling it I just sewed down it and then when I put it on I'm gonna just kind of twist it around not ruffle it but to just give it a little bit more something. And I'm planning on putting it on the, this, um, so that it stays really well. So I'm just gonna go for it, you guys. Oh no, <laughs> oh no. Okay. And I'm going to put like a, just some glue down and I'm going to twist it and mess it up and hopefully not destroy it. And hopefully I've got enough also. That's a thing. up with more I need to pull that up a little bit and twist it around it's not I'm not using enough okay so that doesn't look feminine right I don't think it does I got more than I need I like it. Hopefully you guys are in camera okay. So I would love it if, let me squish that down some, if that were, you know, perfect length, but it's not. So I am going to I'll just have to mess it up with my
fingers, you know, trying to rat it up a little bit. Oh yeah, that, that works well. That's fine. There we go. And I'm going to dab a tiny, tiny bit of hot glue at the bottom of it so that that um, black thread doesn't start coming undone. Now, let's see how that looks. I like it. I hope you guys like it. Oh, <laughs> scary. All right. Um, I left a whole bunch of these to put charms, but I I have to go through what I have. Um, and hopefully, I left enough space. Charms is something totally new for me, and I you know not new, but I haven't done it very many times, so I never know how much I need to leave there. So it could be a struggle. All right, and so I'm gonna add this on the back side as well. actually want it over just a little I think I don't know how did I do it on the front yeah it covers up the edge okay So I still have kind of a lot of, not a lot, but I have maybe a day's worth of work to do on these. And I've got two of them, so, you know, it's double the amount of time. We'll see. But, um, of course, tomorrow is Pocket Wednesday, so I've got to figure out a pocket um, for tomorrow. Still, I haven't done that yet. So I don't know. I'm not sure if I'll get this done today or not. I'll try. Oh, I think it's cute. And I'm going to cut just those ones. Okay. I like it. Hope you guys like that. So that will be the front. I don't know, I might add a second tag in there. I, I don't know, we'll see. We'll see. Um, okay, and then I'm thinking I'm going to add my Made By Me um, on the back. I just, you know, stamped it and stitched around it and put some more grommets, because you know I'm doing grommets. So we're going to add that right there with some more, should I? doesn't need to be in. I always have a hard time like center it in the book or center it in the space. I'm going to center it in the space. I'm going to glue that down and then this one will be left to dry and that'll be it for today. I'll finish the rest on my own and then you know we'll do the flip through together of both of them. to get it to the edge but without a lot of the shiny glue seeping out because it is you know called glossy accents for a reason <laughs> all right you guys I'm gonna leave that just like that so it can dry all right well that's all I have for now I hope you like it and I will see you soon bye